Hello everyone, today we will open up a booster box of Theros Beyond Death. It is the pre-release weekend and as always we have a booster box of the new set. And it comes with a bio box booster pack. So uh, yeah, before we uh, open up the box, let's take a look at this. If I'm correct, it only contains two cards. First of all, the pre the bio box card and the other one. Right, Atrios, the Shroud Veiled, the God, the uh, white and black God. It is a four seven indestructible for six. And as long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven, Atrios isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, put a coin counter on another target creature. And whenever a creature with a coin counter on it dies or is put into exile, return that card to the battlefield under your control. Very nice card. I love it. Very on theme as well for the Shepherd of the Underworld. And we have a Nixland, the island. Looks like uh, an energy from Pokemon. I love it. I want to collect uh, a lot of these lands. And a blank card. Right. Onto the box itself. There are quite some cards in here based on uh, Greek mythology. And one of them is Achilles. And I really, really want that card. Because that will be my next... Um, commander deck to try out so let's get the packs out of here and let's start all right for those of you who are new to Theros it's an older set it was actually the set um, was still in uh, production and uh, sales when I started this channel. And it was way back, a long time ago. Alright, so we start off with uh, the Lacona Band Storytellers, an uncommon. Then we have an Enemy of Enlightenment. A, a Reverent Hoplite. And, ooh, nice! Right off the bat! An Ashiok Nightmare Muse alternate art. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Look at that. Very, very lovely. It looks like um, one of those marble uh, statues that, you, uh, that we all know and love from ancient Greece. Uh, so yeah, it's a 5 mana, uh, 5 loyalty planeswalker. And her plus, uh, plus 1 is create a 2, 3 blue and black nightmare creature token with... Whenever this creature attacks or blocks, each opponent exiles the top two cards of their library. And at minus three, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Then that player exiles a card from their hand. And at minus seven, you may cast up to three face-up cards your opponents uh, own from exile without paying their mana cost. Nice, you can actually do stuff from exile. And we have a forest nix land. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely card. All right. Well, that's a good start. Let's see what the rest of the box has for me. A Grim... Th oh, wait. Those are commons. <clears throat> right, and we have uh, more collector boosters as well with this set. And um, the new thing, the, st the story book card, if you will is all constellation so i really hope there's one in here somewhere i don't know uh so we have a menomize prophecy it's a saga which are back and this one has four chapters very cool we have renata called to the hunt a demigod slaughter priest of mogis and as a uh, rare we have a wave break hippocamp for three a two two whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn draw a card and a planes, a Nyx planes. And we have our first token, the human soldier. Right. 
Furious Rise. We have a Mystic Repeal, a Dream Stalker Manticore, and as a rare, Nylia's Intervention. Uh, two green and X, a sorcery. Choose one, search your library for up to X land cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. And then Nylia's Intervention deals uh, twice X damage to each creature with flying. And we have a Swamp Nixland and a goat token. Oh my, it's a wild goat. So yeah, for me, this is uh, really, really a fun set. It's all about uh, ancient history. Uh, so we have here um, a vehicle, Thundering Chariot, a Destiny Spinner, and a Blood Aspirant. And we have, oh nice, Thassa, the Deep Dwelling. We have another god, and this is quite an expensive one. Um, it's a 4 mana, 6, 5 indestructible, and as long as your devotion to blue is less than 5, Thassa isn't a creature. At the beginning of your end step, exile up to one other target creature you control, then return that creature to the battlefield under your control. And for four, tap another target creature. Sweet. And we have another forest, Nixland, and we have, ooh, nice, oh, look at that, this is one of the uh, constellation cards. Calafe, the beloved of the sea, and it's foil. Oh, beautiful. Right, and that's our first, uh, our first foil as well. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, this is all based on ancient history. And as some of you might know, I study history at the moment. So this is a treat for me. Uh, impending Doom, we have Minions Return and Shimmerwing Chimera. And as a rare, an Archon of Sun's Grace. It's a 4 mana 3 4 flying lifelink. Uh, Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink and constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. Alright. A swamp and a foil revoke existence with uh, the old art. So this is uh, nothing new here. It's a reprint. And a satyr token. One with the stars. Ooh, oh, beautiful card. Elspeth's Nightmare. Uh, it's also a saga. Uh, yeah, Elspeth in the Underworld. And if you look at this thing over here, I, had, uh, I noticed it It looks just like a Phyrexian uh, Negator. Hmm, is that a hint? I don't know. Uh, right, then we have a Mischievous Chimera. And as a rare, a Nessium Boar. Uh, for 5 mana, 10, 6. All creatures able to block Nessian Boar do so. And whenever Nessian Boar becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller draws a card. Alright, cool. A, a Nyx Forest and nothing. Alright. We haven't seen uh, Nyx Mountain yet. We'll probably be in here somewhere. No worries. Hero of the Winds, uh, Underworld Fires, Ooh, The Binding of the Titans, also a saga, and as a rare, ooh, nice, the Acroan War, this is uh, Magic's uh, uh, Trojan War. Uh, right, so it's a saga for four, and it has three chapters. Uh, the first one is gain control of target creature for as long as the Acroan War remains in the battlefield, so that's basically uh, the... How do you call that? The abduction of uh, Helen of Troy. And then uh, the second one is until your next turn, creatures your opponents control uh, attack each combat if able, which is basically the war itself. And if, uh, the third one, uh, each tapped creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Yeah, that's just the destructive power of war. Very cool. Planes and another goat. I really, really love these new Nyx lands. Really want to collect most, a lot of them. I just build my decks around them. Uh, well, with them. Stinging Lionfish. And we have another constellation. 
Timaret, The Chosen from Death, but this one is uh, non-foil. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just as black as it can get. Well, besides from the uh, original Alpha and Beta Terror. And then we have a uh, Phalanx Tactics. And a Mantle of the Wolf as a rare. For four, uh, it's an Aura, Enchant Creature. Gets plus four, plus four. And when it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create two green, green... Uh, two, two, two green wolf creature tokens. We have another island and another human soldier. All right. Okay. Chain web Arachnir. Uh, we have a favorite of Iroas, a Wolf Willow Haven, and as a rare here, Thassa's Intervention. For two blue and X, uh, it's an instant, choose one. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put up to two of them uh, into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any random order. Uh, or counter target spell unless its controller pays twice X. Cool. We have a Swamp and a Reflection token for our Narcissus character. Okay, the birth of Melities, another saga. Anax, hardened in the forge. Ooh, cool! Didn't even know this one. Also a demigod. And we have an inevitable end. And as our oh <laughs> wow, a mythic, another mythic, uh, another god. And this one is another constellation. Purphoros, the bronze blooded, which is the Hephaestus of this world uh, right so it's a five mana seven six indestructible as long as your devotion uh, to red is less than five perforos is it a creature other creatures you control have haste and for three you may put a red creature card uh, or an artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step nice i don't believe this is the um this is uh, as a normal uh Creature, it would be worth a lot, but since this is a constellation, I don't know. But I really love it. It's beautiful. Planes and nothing. Almost at one third of the box. Farika's Spawn, uh, Warden of the Chained, Acolyte of Affliction. And as a rare, <laughs> Galia of the Endless Dance, which is some satyrs dancing around. It's only a 2 mana, 2-2 uh, two, two, with haste, and other satyrs you control get plus 1, plus 1, and have haste. Whenever you attack with 3 or more creatures, you may discard a card at random. If you do, draw 2 cards. Cool. Very cool. A forest and another token. Right, and uh, this is the next set, Ikoria, the Lair of Behemoths, and yeah, it's going to be uh, a wild ride with a lot of big creatures. Feres, the Band Brawler, we have Calafe, the Beloved of the Sea, which we already have, but in a uh, constellation. See, there we have it. Very cool. And uh, then we have a Soul Guide Lantern, and as a rare, Arasta of the Endless Web. It's a 4 mana spider, 3-5 reach, and whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1-2 green spider creature token with reach. We have an island, and we have a foil rare, uh, Timaret Calls the Dead, which is a saga. Uh, put the top 3 cards of your library into your graveyard, then you may exile a creature or enchantment card from your graveyard, and if you do, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. Those are the first two chapters. And then the third one is you gain X life and scry X. Where X is the number of zombies you control. It's only costing three. Cool. And we have a zombie token. Right. <clears throat> I love this one. It's common, but it, it it's a great common in a lot of commander decks. The altar of the Pantheon. You'll gain uh, mana, and if you control a god or demigod or a legendary enchantment, you gain one life if you tap it. 
and your devotion to each color and each combination of colors is to increased by one just wanted to show you guys that one common i think it's pretty nice in commander underworld dreams downshifted from a rare to uncommon not too shabby siona the captain of uh, pilias a lot of people uh, call her uh, Zena, the warrior princess but i like to uh, think of her as uh, pentasilea the one from uh, the iliad who fights aeneas uh, achilles then we have a Setesan Petitioner, and as a rare here, Shattered Sky. For four, it's a sorcery. Each player who controls a creature with power four or greater draws a card, then destroy all creatures. Ah, there we have it, the Nyx Mountain. Beautiful. And a Blight Breath Catobla Pass foil. Okay, what's that? Fruit of Tiziris. Ah, Alirios the Enraptured, which is Narcissus. He loves his reflection. Uh, Escape Velocity, Archon of the Falling Stars, and we. Hoo -hoo, nice! The second most expensive card of the set, Heliot the Sun Crowned, which is also a god. For three, we have a 5 5 indestructible. Devotion uh, to white is less than 5, it's not a creature. Whenever you gain life, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target creature or enchantment you control. And for 2, another target creature gains lifelink until end of turn. Wow. <laughs> 3 gods so far, that's pretty good. Uh, an island and another token. Right. Continue our journey. Fateful end. We have a Nessian horn beetle, uh, Meyer Triton, and ooh, beautiful. Elspeth conquers death. Another saga with three chapters, but just look at the art. It's a mosaic. Very, very beautiful. Ashiok defying the underworld. Right, so it's a 5 mana saga, and chapter 1 is exile target permanent and opponent controls with converted mana cost 3 or greater. Then the second one, non-creature spells your opponent's cast cost 2 more to cast until your next turn. And then the third one is return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter or a loyalty counter on it. Another swamp. Field of Ruin, uh, Banishing Light, also a reprint from uh, Journey into Nyx. Devourer of Memory, and as a rare here, we have a Nightmare Shepherd. For four, it's a 4 4 flying, and whenever another non token creature you control dies, you may exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of target of that creature, except it's a 1 1, and it's a Nightmare in addition to its other types. We have another Planes. The Triumph of Anax, we have uh, Rise to Glory, Sea God's Scorn, and as our rare, an Idyllic Tutor, nice, very good. It's also a reprint, uh, but a much needed one, this is from Morning Tide, it's a 3 mana sorcery, search your library for an enchantment card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Very good card. Swamp, and we have a foil, Return to Nature, and ugh, a spider token. All right, moving on. Sweet Oblivion. Uh, Elseid of Life's Bounty. Ooh, Hero of the Nyxborn. And as a rare, a Nyx Lotus. Ooh. For four mana, it's a legendary artifact. It enters the battlefield tapped, and if you tap it, you choose a color at an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion of that color. Very cool. And another Nyx Mountain, and a Tentacle Token. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Nyx Herald, uh, Careless Celebrant, Whirlwind Denial, and we have another Wave Break Hippocamp, and a Swamp and a Foil Whirlwind Denial. Okay, so that's our first uh, duplicate rare. Let's uh, take it out anyway. A Hateful Eidolon, an Entrancing Liar, a Skullfoss, the Maze Warden, and as a rare here we have Aphemia the Cacophony. For two, uh, it's a 2-1 flying, and at the beginning of your end step you may exile an enchantment card from your graveyard. If you do, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. And another mountain. Magic wants to know my location. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Nessian Wanderer. Uh, he uh, Heliod's Punishment. Timaret, Chosen from Death. And as a rare here, we have Atris, the Oracle of Half Truths. Well, aren't all oracles half truths? It's a 4 mana, 3 2 menace. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top 3 cards of your library and separates them into a face down pile and a face up pile. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Right, nice. Pretty interesting. Forest and a foil Heliod's Punishment. Midor Shield, uh, Staggering Insight, and uh, Threnody Singer. And as a rare here, we have a Timaret Calls the Dead, but this time non foil. Cool. A Swamp and a Foil Portent of Betrayal. And a Wall Token. Ooh, nice. Dream Shaper Shaman, uh, Cling to Dust, Renata, Call to the Hunt, and as a rare here, we have a Dream Trawler, a Sphinx for 6 mana, 3 5 Flying Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn, and whenever Dream Trawler attacks, draw a card. Discard a card, Dream Trawler gains Hexproof until end of turn, tap it. Alright. Mountain and a Seder. Two-thirds into the box. And I think we already done a great job here. So many good cards. Utropia, the twice favored. Heroes of the Revel and Dawn Evangel. And another rare, the Eidolon of Obstruction. For two, it's a 2-1 first strike. Loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers your opponents control. Cost one more to activate. Wait, what? All right, so loyalty abilities for your opponents cost one. That's uh, interesting. Island and a token. Clothis Design, uh, Lagona Band Storyteller, Agonizing Remorse, and as a rare Protean Thaumaturge. For two, a 1-1 one, one, uh, with Constellation. Whenever, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protean uh, Thaumaturge become a copy of another target creature, except it has no ability. A forest and a goat. So yeah, we're uh, down into the last third of the box. Minions return. Ooh, a Calafe, Beloved of the Sea, another constellation, but this time non-foil. Uh, Hydra's Growth, and as ooh, we have another mythic, <laughs> Clothis, the God of Destiny. It's a 3-mana 4-5 indestructible god, and as long as your devotion to red and green is less than 7, Clothis isn't a creature. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a land card, add red or green mana. Otherwise, you gain two life and Clothis deals two damage to each opponent. Sweet. We have another swamp. Uh, 
Well, quite happy with all the gods, that's for sure. Glimpse of Freedom, a hero of the wind, and a blood aspirant, and as a rare here, Allure of the Unknown. This art just looks a lot like Bedevil. Uh, well, it's a 5 mana sorcery. Reveal the top 6 cards of your library. An opponent exiles a non-land card from among them. Then you put the rest into your hand. That opponent may cast the exiled card without paying its mana cost. Oh, that's a scary card. Oh, and we have here a Pegasus token. Okay, almost done. Impending Doom, another Elspeth's Nightmare. Ooh, a Constellation Anax, Hardened in the Forge. And as our rare here, Storm Herald. A 3 mana 3-2 three, haste, and uh, when it enters the battlefield, return any number of outer cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those outas at the beginning of your next end step. If those outas would leave the battlefield, Exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. And another forest. <laughs> Mystic Repeal, Sage of Mysteries, Destiny Spinner, and as a rare, Eat to Extinction. For 4 it's an instant, exile target creature or planeswalker, look at the top card of your library, you may put that card into your graveyard. An island and a foil escape velocity. And a wolf token with a pretty pattern. Furious Rise, uh, Reverend Hoplite, Grey Merchant of Asphodel, and as a rare, another Arasta of the Endless Web, and a Plains. Enemy of Enlightenment, a Thundering Chariot, Wolf Willow Haven, and as a rare, another Nessium boar. A island and a foil Nyx Plains. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Almost done. Five more boosters to go. We have a stinging lionfish, a dreamstalker manticore, arcan of falling stars, and as a rare here, Heliot's intervention for two and X. To white an X, an instant, choose one, destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments, target player gains twice X life. That's your choice. Swamp. Well, still no sign of Achilles. But we still have four boosters to go. The birth of Melities. One with the stars, mischievous Chimera. And we have a, ooh, a Temple of Deceit. All right, temples are back as well, of course. Uh, yeah, so these lands are uh, the same as the M20 lands, but the different colors. So they enter the battlefield tapped, and when they enter the battlefield, scry one. This is the blue and black version. Planes. Chain Web Arachnir, with the Binding of the Titans, Alciad of Life's Bounty, and another temple, the Temple of Enlightenment. This is the blue and white version. Another mountain, and ooh, Medomai's Prophecy, foil. Two more packs to go. Farika Spawn, Medomai's Prophecy, Meyer Triton, and as a rare, Kunoros, the Hound of Atrios, which is basically uh, Cerberus. Uh, it's a 3 3 Vigilant Menace Lifelink for 3. Creature cards in graveyards can't enter the battlefield. 
And players can't cast spells from graveyards. Nice. And a forest. Final pack. What will it be? Nessian Horn Beetle, a Shimmering Chimera, a Slaughter Priest of Mogus, and. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this is uh, pretty crazy. This is the most expensive card of the set. Uh, Uro, the Titan of Nature's Wrath. It's a 3 mana 6-6, six, six, and when it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless it ex escaped. Whenever Uro enters the battlefield or attacks, you gain 3 life and draw a card. Uh, then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, and it has an escape for 4. And that means exile 5 other cards from your graveyard, and then you can cast it for its, for its escape cost. Wow. And another island. So, how many... Mythics do we have? Well, that's uh, six, of which uh, well, one is very special, one is a constellation, and three, the top three cards, uh, yeah, the top three most expensive cards of the set. Uro, then Heliod, and then Thassa. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, there you have it. Theros Beyond Death. Uh, yeah, next time I will open up the two Planeswalker decks, well, one at a time. So, see you all then. Bye-bye.